Hi friends, it's Amber here from Mindful Yoga and Art STL, and this is Pahui. Um, she is my pit bull and my friend and uh, my Henri fur baby all at the same time. <laughs> so I'm coming to you today to do an indoor practice because once again, we're in St. Louis and it's cold outside. Um, it is so dreary, so I added some extra sparkles and some extra lights to my background just to make it a little bit more lively of a set. Um, so today what we're going to do is we're going to be focusing on just taking it one step at a time. There's a quote called, there's a, <laughs> there's a Chinese proverb that says, to get through the hardest journey, we only need to take one step at a time. So I think that that is something that's very appropriate for yoga too, because, you know, sometimes we get so ahead of ourselves, we get so wrapped up in the goal that we forget to just take care of ourselves one step at a time. This little girl, she loves to be taken care of for sure. And, and I can only do a little bit at a time, but, um, I think just like taking care of children and taking care of animals, um, the reward is in just the love that you get from them and taking things one step at a time for yourself in yoga. The reward is taking, taking care of your body and kind of the love that you're given to your body as well. So if you want to practice with me today, let's go ahead and find a comfortable seat on the mat and we'll get started. So we're going to start our exercises today with a breathing practice and at, in a seated position, let's go ahead and cross our legs, take a comfortable position. You can even be laying on your back for this if you so want to. But what we're going to do is we're going to start with just a simple breath, an ujjayi breath. So that, same, that simple ujjayi breath is um, something called the victorious breath or the ocean breath. Um, it definitely has a deep kind of whooshing sound to it, um, a Darth Vader sound to it a little bit too. And I'm going to take you step by step to just kind of get into that ujjayi breath, that a little bit different than what we usually do. So I'm going to ask you to bring your hand up to your face on pretend almost like it's a mirror um, that you're holding in front of your mouth. And I want you to take a deep breath in. And then as you exhale, try to fog up that little mirror in front of you through your mouth, exhaling, breathing out and feeling that kind of that throat push of the air. So let's try it again. Inhale. Inhale, exhale. And so I'm going to ask you to keep trying that a couple more times. So inhaling, and then when you're ready, slowly seal your lips and see if you can continue to create that same whooshing constricted throat sensation that you had before and we can drop our hands too so inhaling exhaling inhaling one continuous motion exhaling so no holding the breath at the top or the bottom inhaling exhaling and then deepening the breath inhaling lengthening the inhale and exhale Deepening the inhale and exhale. Inhale. And let's do it 10 more times from here. So inhaling, deepening the breath, lengthening the time that you spend inhaling, exhaling, slip sealed that whooshing sound down the back of your throat. Two, inhale. Three. Four. Five. 
five, six, seven, eight, more of those breaths if that's really feeling good for you. So Victoria's breaths or the Ujjayi breath not only brings in good oxygen into our body, um, but it, it, focus us, uh, it focuses us on the slowing down and the intake and the exhale of our breath. So getting caught in our mind, getting caught in all the details, sometimes we fo focus on 20 things at once, but today, once again, we're taking it one step at a time. So let's go ahead and start to stretch out our spine. I'm gonna do that with my friend here still until I need to move. So let's inhale, looking up the sky. Exhale, bring the hands down to the mat <laughs> or to the dog. Inhale, exhale. You can continue that ujjayi breath if you want. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. And one more to the top. Inhale and hold it here. We're going to take our right hand and go ahead and ground it down onto the mat. Left hand reaches over the top of our head. Spin that pinky finger down towards the ground and reach out with that right hand out to the side. So stretching here, lifting that elbow back behind you so that you can look up at the ceiling, check out the lights, <laughs> check out your elbow, looking up at your arm, and inhale, and exhale. We're going to drop our left hand to the side of the mat here, reaching our right arm over top. She's on phase. <laughs> Once again, posture check here. Keep both hip bones grounded. Draw that bicep back by your ear. Reach over and spin that pinky, pinky finger down towards the ground. Inhale here. Reach up. Exhale. Inhale. Quicker pace this time. Exhale. Keep both hip bones grounded. Inhale. Inhale, exhale, and one more time. Inhale, exhale, one more set, I mean. Inhale, and exhale. Let's go ahead and do a, a slow twist to start with. So we're gonna inhale, shrug our shoulders up to our ears and roll them back behind us. Let's take our left hand to our right knee. Right hand reaches up and behind us. So drawing the top of your head up towards the ceiling, straightening the spine, elongating the spine, getting those good posture benefits here. And then looking over our right shoulder. Inhale, raise up both hands once again to the sky. Drop the right hand to the right, left knee and left hand behind you. Glance over your back shoulder. Elongate the spine by lifting again. Take a good full breath here. Twisting does make it a little harder to breathe, but do your best. Inhale, twist towards your right. Exhale forward. Inhale here, exhale. And don't be liking yourself on camera. Mm, mm, not okay. Hey, bzz, bzz, bzz. Hi, sweetheart. Inhale, <laughs> exhale. <laughs> Hi. Inhale and exhale. I 
Sometimes got itches and things we have to lick and scratch and who knows. <laughs> um, so let's go ahead and next, once again, just shrug those shoulders up towards our ears, roll those shoulders back behind us, look up, look down, look right, look left, and then do a lifting your nose up to the ceiling, to the right, down to the left. It's almost drawing a big circle in front of you with your nose. Once you reach the top, go the opposite direction. All right. And if you have hair, or if you need to, just go ahead and shake that behind you and just kind of feel that sensation of your head just getting looser and your neck looser as you drop your head from side to side here. This is one of my favorite things to do in a pool when I get my hair wet and just swing it from side to side. You can really feel your neck and the weight of your hair during those times. Scratches. They have to happen. <laughs> All right. Let's go ahead and once again take our arms and we're going to reach them up. Inhale. Exhale. <laughs> Take our arms behind us and clasp our hands or put your hands on your hips. So clasping your hands behind you and we're going to lean forward, lifting up those hands up towards the sky. See if you can touch your head towards the ground or forehead is reaching towards the ground. And inhale, reach it up. Exhale. Reach those arms behind you once again. Clasp those hands. Lift the hands up away from the hips. Inhale. Slowly reach up to the ceiling once again. And exhale. Fingertips come down to the mat and come behind you. Clasp those hands. Lift them away from your hips. And look down towards the ground here, hinging at the hips. Awesome. Shake out those shoulders once again. We're going to go next to our knees here. So in a kneeling position. <laughs> I don't know what I'm getting myself into by having her here today. But in a kneeling position, we're going to come to a tabletop position. And wrists underneath shoulders, knees underneath hips. So we're going to lean forward to the side, back to the other side, and just do a little bit of a wrist circle here, warming up our wrists, spreading our fingertips wide, pressing through our finger pads as much as through our palms. Okay, awesome. Let's go ahead and do a couple of cat cows here. Want to do some cat cows? We got, we got zero cooperation with this one. For you at home, let's go ahead and inhale. We're gonna draw our gaze up, let our belly button fall towards the mat, lift our hips up, slight curve of the back. Cow pose, exhale, cat pose. So opposite, pressing down through the hands, chin to chest, upper back is reaching up towards the ceiling. Inhale, cow pose. Notice your shoulder blades draw together, heart lifts forward. Exhale, shoulder blades expand, heart sinks in towards your body. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, and one more. Inhale, and exhale. Awesome. Let's take that cat cow to the next step here. And we're gonna do those bird dog poses once again. So if you watch my videos, I like do them almost every week. I love them. So this time we're gonna shift our weight over into our right hand, hug our right knee in towards our body. Exhale, kick out our left heel behind us. 
reach forward with the, I'm sorry, kick out our right heel behind us, reach forward with our left hand. Inhale, hug that elbow in towards the knee, crunch the abs while you do that, and exhale, reach it out again. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, and exhale. Awesome. Okay, let's readjust our hands here, maybe lifting them up, readjust our knees, make sure everything is <laughs> where it needs to be. I got some little paws where, <laughs> where my hand needs to be. She's such a sweet presence today. We're going to leave her where she's at. <laughs> All right, so once again, let's hug that opposite side this time. Left knee in and underneath you. Kick that left heel out behind you. Spread those fingers wide. Grip the mat underneath you. Weight shifts over into the left hand, and right hand reaches forward this time thinking about creating a straight line from your heel all the way to your fingertips. Inhale, hug that elbow and knee in and underneath you. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. Let's do one more. Inhale. And exhale. Awesome. Let's go ahead and once again, do one more cat cow here. So inhale, looking up, exhale, looking down. Neutral tabletop position here. This time we're gonna hug our right knee in and underneath us and we're gonna step it forward into a low lunge. So I'm gonna back up just a little bit so I don't get more bulk. <laughs> but stay where you are if you need to or adjust as necessary. So we're gonna inhale, hug that right knee in and underneath you. Exhale, step it forward here into this low lunge. So keep the fingertips grounded until you feel comfortable, pressing through that back top of the foot, pressing through the ball of the front foot and coming up to a low lunge position. Inhale, look up towards the sky. Exhale, take those hands behind you. Once again, you can clasp here or just reach or keep your hands on your hips. You got options. Inhale. Once again, reach up. We're going to do this three times. Exhale. Inhale. And exhale. You may notice your knee kind of shifts back and forth, but try to keep that knee in line with the ankle and the heel. Drop the left hand down to the ground, reach the right hand up towards the sky. So you're twisting towards that bent knee. Inhale here, you can always add a challenge to lift that knee. Exhale, hand down to the ground. Once again, let's try that again. Do it three times. Inhale, reach up to the sky. This time adding some flair, maybe reaching it forward, creating kind of a diagonal line from your fingertips all the way to your toes. Exhale, hand down to the ground. And one last time, inhale, reach up. And this time, one big arm circle. You choose maybe two. Keep breathing. And exhale. Awesome. Let's go ahead and what we're going to do is walk our hands, fingertips and hands back towards our back knee. We're going to straighten out this front leg and come to a half splits position. So I don't have any blocks with me right now. They're in the other room. <laughs> If you have blocks, go ahead and keep the blocks right here and grab them so that you can press down and have that stability of pressing into something while staying lifted. If you have the flexibility, reach your fingertips down to the ground or your palms. Or if you so choose, you can always do this position as well where you're lifted. Hands are 
pressing into your thigh and your chest and your face. Your head is lifted. So half splits, keep breathing. And exhale, lean over that leg, walk those hands forward, really lean it forward, hinging the hips down and forward here. We're gonna wiggle walk that right foot out to the edge of the mat here. Both hands press into the mat, um, to the inside of that right foot. Coming into a lizard pose, you can take it down to your forearms here. Stay lifted or choose whatever you want. As far as your hand positions, maybe not choose whatever you want, but <laughs> pressing down with your hand or your forearm. And then you have another option. You can lift up that back leg or keep that knee grounded into the mat. Two more breaths here, releasing those hips forward and down. All right. And what we're gonna do is wiggle, walk that right foot back into that tabletop position once again. We're gonna do one cat cow again, inhaling, exhaling. Kind of our transition move today. And then we're gonna take our right leg and do those same low lunge movements and the same different movements that we just did. So with the left leg, I don't know what I said. I think I said left. What I meant was left. <laughs> and he'll hug that left foot in and underneath you. Left knee in and underneath you. Go ahead and we're gonna do those same movements with our left knee this time and left leg. So left low lunge and all those other movements that we did. So inhale, hug that left knee in and underneath you. Exhale, step that left foot forward. Press through the top of the back foot, follow the front foot. Inhale, reach up. Look up, slight back bend. Exhale, take those arms back, lean forward. Once again, you can clasp your hands behind you. Just reach back behind you or your choice. Inhale, let's do this three times. Exhale. Inhale, taking it one movement at a time here, being generous, being kind with yourself. Exhale. Awesome. Ground down the right hand this time. Lift up the left hand to the sky. Reach, reach, reach and go ahead and set that left hand down. We're gonna do that two more times with some flare. Inhale, reach up to the sky this time. This time, reach it forward. Creating a, a diagonal line from your fingertips all the way to your toes, perhaps. Exhale it down. And last one we're gonna do here, press that right palm in, lift the left fingertips up, and then a couple of big arm circles. So my dog is so relaxed, she is snoring, and it's the soft, the soft snore now. <laughs> Walk those hands back towards your back knee. We're gonna do that half splits position. Straighten out that front leg here. So left leg is straightened out, toes are lifted away from the mat. You can inhale, press your hands into your upper thigh or blocks or fingertips here, your choice. The snoring gets deeper and louder, <laughs> but I have lulled her into a peaceful <laughs> slumber somehow. <laughs> All right. In this half splits position, let's go ahead, take two more breaths. Inhale here and exhale. Slowly walk that left foot out to the side of your mat. Both hands come to the inside of your, your left leg for a lizard pose. Lean those hips down and forward here. Press into the mat with your hands or you can come down to your forearms. 
that's a little too close to uh, the stinky parts, so I'm going to stay up here. Yeah. <laughs> and then you can also choose to, on your hands or on your forearms, lift that back leg. You want a lizard? Here in this lizard pose, don't forget to hinge, really lean in, hinge the hips forward and down, breathe, and exhale wherever you're at. Walk that left foot back to meet the right in that tabletop position. And we're gonna do our transition movement again. So inhale, cat cow or cow cat. Exhale, cat pose. Awesome. Let's go ahead and start transitioning to a standing position. So we're going to do that similar to how we did the other ones. So um, this time we're going to tuck our back toes here, pressing through our hands, spreading through our fingers. We're going to inhale and then exhale, lift our hips up and back into our first downward dog. Adjust as necessary here. Inhale. Lift your head forward, coming into a plank position. Exhale, back to downward dog. So shifting your body forward, I should say. Inhale, coming into that plank position. Exhale, downward dog. And inhale, coming into that plank position. And exhale, downward dog. We're gonna hug that right knee in and underneath us. Exhale that right heel up towards the ceiling. Use the momentum and bend your right knee. Take it underneath you, step it forward into a position of a high lunge this time. So inhale, coming up to a high lunge. Breathe, look up, exhale. Inhale, look up. Exhale, take those fingertips back behind you. Shoot the fingertips towards the back of the mat. Inhale. And exhale. From this position, we're going to ground down that left hand once again. Reach up with our right hand. From here, let's do a couple of giant arm circles. Two. Three. Ground down that hand once again. Take a full breath into this lunge and inhale it back up. We're gonna come into a warrior one by taking our back foot, taking the toes out to the edge at a 45 degree angle. Front knee stays bent at a 90. Find what's comfortable and what feels balanced to you. Inhale here. Exhale out to a warrior one. Two. This is a warrior two. <laughs> Oops. Warrior two position. From here, we're going to inhale, reach up with our fingertips. Exhale down. Inhale, reach up. Exhale down. Kind of a pumping motion. Inhale up. Exhale down. Awesome. Let's go ahead and step the left foot forward to meet the right at the top of the mat. Take an inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Hinging at the hips, reaching towards the mat. If your fingertips don't come in contact with the mat, it's okay. Bend your knees here. Let your, go ahead and you can also grab your elbows and just let your body kind of sway from side to side here. Whether you're holding your elbows or dropping your fingertips to the mat. Inhale, raise up, one vertebrae at a time. Fingertips come up towards the ceiling. And exhale. Let's take a moment for a couple of breaths. So come into a prayer position at your heart. And I ask you once again to seal the lips, 
create that ujjayi breath. Bringing peace to the mind, bringing regulation to the body. Of your mat for me. We're gonna raise our arms up to the sky once again. Inhale, exhale, swan dive forward, forward fold. Bend your knees generously here, walk it forward, coming into that downward dog position. And then we're gonna take it once again, shifting our whole body forward into a plank, coming back to the downward dog. Inhale to a plank. Exhale to a downward dog. Inhale to a plank. And exhale to the downward dog. Hug that left knee in and underneath you. So take that left foot off the mat. Take the knee in and underneath you. Crunch it in. And exhale. Kick that left heel up to the sky. Use the momentum and bend that left knee. Take it underneath you, step that left foot forward. Hey, I'm stepping forward <laughs> into a high lunge position. You may bother your furry friends who are sleeping at the front of your mat with this movement. I did. Coming up to a high lunge here, raise the fingertips up to the sky, pressing that back heel towards the ground, even though it's not going to be touching. Exhale, take the fingertips back behind you once again. You can clasp or just reach the fingertips back behind you. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, reach it back. Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, reach it back. <laughs> awesome. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale. Let's go ahead and ground down. Oops, lost my balance there. Ground down the back foot at a 45 degree angle. Left foot, our left knee is bent at a 90 degree angle. Hips are facing forward and fingertips are raised up. Inhale here. Exhale, hinge it forward. Humble warrior. Inhale, raise it up once again. Warrior one and exhale warrior two so squeeze those shoulder blades behind you fingertips reach forward and backwards creating a straight line with your arms inhale take the bend out of the front knee reach up exhale warrior two inhale reach up and out of the front knee exhale warrior two Inhale and exhale three times. Awesome. Let's go ahead and step that right foot forward to meet the left, the top of the mat. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, swan dive forward. Forward fold. Inhale, reach up to the sky once again. And exhale, this time bringing your hands down to a prayer position at your heart, just like we did before. I did not put my hair in a ponytail, so it's, it's going everywhere today. <laughs> Take a few ujjayi breaths once again, slowing it down to one step at a time, one breath at a time, one moment at a time. It's okay to be a person that plans and has goals and wants to move forward. But those people also need to slow down sometimes. I'm one of those people <laughs> who take it slow and take care of ourselves. So I don't know if that relates to you, but I'm probably speaking to myself more than anything. <laughs> One more ujjayi breath, inhale. Exhale. 
let's take a tree pose from here. So bring the feet together just a little bit apart here. Um, so my feet aren't touching, but slightly a little bit of space in between them. We're going to lift up the tippy toes of our right foot, take the heel of our right foot and plant it directly above the left ankle. Pressing our hands together at our heart here. Stay here on step one or take up, take that sole of your foot up to the inside of your calf, not your knee, for our step number two of tree. Or if you want to reach down and take the sole of your foot to the inside of your thigh. Pressing your thigh into your foot as much as your foot is pressing into your thigh. Find a neutral spot on the ground in front of you to stare at. Lift your heart, lift your head. It's okay if you're struggling. Balance is hard. Balance is challenging. If you fall out, that's okay. Reset, maybe taking it back down a step or trying where you were. Gonna stay here for two more breaths wherever you are. Exhale. All right. Let's go ahead and drop that right foot and let's try it on the left foot. So once again, hands come to our heart in a prayer position. Take the left toes up to a dippy toe. Left heel is balanced right above your right heel. Or, yeah, above your right ankle. That's what I'm trying to say. Take it to step two if you want to, raising the sole of the foot to the calf. Use that resistance just like your hands are pressing against one another. Press your leg against the sole of your foot. And if you want to reach down, reset if you need to. <laughs> Inhale, lifting that sole of the foot to the inside of the thigh. slippy pants. Reset if you need to. Okay. Take three breaths wherever you are. Once again, keep that dristy or that meditative gaze in a place in front of you. If you need to take it down one level to just get more comfort in this balance pose, do that. It's okay to be comfortable today. And exhale, shake it out. Next, we're gonna do one more balance pose here. We didn't do too many of the, the chair poses tonight, or we didn't do any chair poses. So what we're gonna do is we're going to do a kind of a seated chair pose with our legs crossed. So inhale, hug that right knee in towards your body, hold it there. You can stay here in this balance pose and and kind of flex your foot so that it's flat, almost like you're stepping on a big step. Or you can take that, that leg and cross it over your left leg. I'm doing this so slow. <laughs> so here we go. Inhale, exhale, and then sit back into an invisible chair. So our leg is almost in a number four position here. We're sitting back into an invisible chair. We're lifting our arms, lifting our gaze, lifting our heart. And balancing. Maybe take a lift up and then reset it back into that balance pose one more time. Three breaths here in this balance pose. and stand up. Let's take it on the opposite side. So hugging the left knee in towards our body. Our left knee up and in front of us actually, not inside our body. So left knee is held, flat foot. Stay here or take it to the next step where you cross that ankle on top of knee. Left ankle on top of right knee and then sit back into that invisible chair. So there's three steps you can stop at, any one of those, no shame.
three breaths here. Stand up, reset, and go back into that pose for three more breaths. <laughs> Balance challenge. And stand up, awesome. Let's shake it out here just a little bit. And then we're gonna come down to a seated position. All right, you wanna do the cool down? You've been working so hard. <laughs> okay. um, sometimes it's not about working hard. Sometimes it is just about taking things slow and taking it one step at a time. But the asanas or the movements that we go through in yoga definitely help our muscles and help our joints and our body to just become a little more limber, a little more um, moving the fluids around hopefully keeps us younger too. All right, in a seated position, let's start our cool down by stretching our legs out to the side. Oops, it's okay. It's okay. So legs are spread wide. And we're gonna inhale and reach up. Exhale, reach it forward. So hinging at the hips here, reach it forward in between your legs that are spread wide. We're gonna walk it over to the left ankle first to start with. <laughs> take, your, take your head and your neck and just relax them into your arms here. And then inhale, reach up with your right hand as your left hand is still reaching towards that left ankle. Flex the foot and reach over the top of your head with the right fingertips towards that foot. Awesome. Towards the center once again, and now off to the right ankle. So both hands at first. Let your head and neck just relax into this pose. A couple of good breaths. And then slowly lifting the left hand to the sky this time. And then reach those left fingertips towards the flexed foot off. Inhale, reach it up. And exhale, we're gonna do a slight twist here. So off to our right. So both hands are off to the right of the right leg. Inhale, raise it up. And exhale, take the arms off to the left. Inhale, twisting to the right. Inhale, reaching it up. Exhale, twisting it to the left. One more time. Awesome. And now let's go ahead and cross our legs once again. We're gonna reach out in front of us as far as we can, letting our head and neck relax in between our arms also again. Stay here, or if you want to go ahead and draw those arms behind you, clasp those hands and lift those clasp hands away from your hip bones one, one more time. Inhale, lift it all up. We're gonna come into a laying position next. I'm gonna use my dog as a pillow. <laughs> so coming into a laying position, hello. <laughs> Can I use you as a pillow? <laughs> All right, let's hug our knees in towards our body. <laughs> Dogs are pillows too. Not only friends, companions, but good pillows. Are you resisting the pillow? Okay, not a good pillow. So from a laying, <laughs> we're gonna come onto our backs next and hug our knees in towards our body here. Exhale, kick those feet up to the sky. Maybe lifting our nose and our head 
up as well, reaching our nose towards our knees. And exhale it all down. Windshield wiper your knees back and forth here. Off to the right, off to the left. Awesome. Touch the soles of your feet together. Knees come out into a cobbler's pose or a butterfly pose if you're familiar with those. Inhale, lift those feet up. Grab onto the edges of the feet or wrap your index fingers around the big toes. And exhale up with the legs in a V formation into a happy baby pose. Rock it back and forth. Inhale and exhale. Take those legs down. Walk the hands down. Walk your shoulders away from your ears. Let the mat below you support you. As you come into a final resting pose for this evening called Chavasana. So in Chavasana, you let all those movements that we just did sink into the muscles as you take one final step into just letting your body rest. This is the step that sometimes we forget in the hustle bustle. So taking steps, taking breaths, taking it slow. As you notice from transitioning to movement to a still position, slowly starts to elongate. Maybe you lose a little heat in your body. You can always cover up yourself or put on socks and whatever you need to here to just stay warm. For the Shavasana, the focus of today, once again, is just taking things one step at a time when they feel overwhelming. So I'm going to ask you to just take it one breath at a time. If you want to go back, back to that ujjayi breath as you lay here, please do. If you want to close your eyes and just let the mat support you, melt into the mat, support that too. So I'll be here just for a few minutes. breaths here, feeling your abdomen expand and contract with each inhale and exhale. Bringing movement 
movement to your toes and to your fingertips. Letting your body shift to one side and just lay there for a second. Arm is your, arm is your pillow here. And then slowly coming to a seated position when you're ready. We want to thank you for joining us tonight and I want to thank you for watching my videos and participating along with me. Once again, this is Pahui, my dog, and my name is Amber with Mindful Yoga and Art STL. Um, if you need anything to get you through the rest of the week, remember that Chinese proverb, to get through the hardest journey, we only need to take one step at a time. So from my heart to yours, I honor the strength and determination that it takes to keep making those steps. Sometimes they're hard, sometimes they're easy. Um, but from, I truly am thankful for being able to offer these classes online and I hope to see you in the spring. So we'll keep, I'll keep making videos here in my sparkly studio basement if you keep watching. So take care. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.